Hey, 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 you guys. Time for another chit chat. And this time, girl, we are going to be talking and sipping. I have a glass of red wine. Y'all, all I drink is wet red wine. I mean, if you offer me something else, I'll try it. But I like red wine. It's great for your cardiovascular system. Um, So y'all, y'all know how we do this. We talk about what I'm watching. Well, we talk about what's going on in my personal life what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV, which for a change, I'm watching a lot, girl. I'm watching a lot. So, all right, you guys, what's going on? First of all, I do apologize if I keep looking outside. It is overcast. How's the weather at where y'all are at? Baby, it was hailing. It is very, very cold here, like high of 50. Uh, morning times to be 44. Um, it was like 44, 40 degrees. And yeah, it's it's cold. It was hailing. It was snowing the other morning. And y'all, I stay cold. I mean, you see me, I stay bundled up. You know, they be making fun of me. I have a traveling heater in the house that I take with me. I keep it up in the front in the morning time when I'm working. When I go take a shower, I bring it with me. Like, don't mess with me. My traveling, my traveling heater. <laughs> I call it traveling fan. It's a traveling heater. So yeah, it's cold here in Phoenix. Um raining but we needed the rain okay so what else y'all i need to go uh get our passports redone y'all i have a feeling they're gonna start like they meaning the people in control of the world gonna start locking down on getting things like your passport so even though we don't have any plans right now to travel outside of the country of course because we're in a damn pandemic i want to go ahead and make sure that i have my passport updated i mean i've always had a passport but ever since i got married a while back it's been a while now I never got my name changed. I need to make sure JB has a passport. Yeah, I just want to make sure we have that in order. Um, homeschooling's going well. JB, I almost, today was a struggle. He, because he was in the middle of doing something. And I, and I get it. It's going to be like that every now and then. Um, and this is our, actually it's our second week back. So we took two weeks off for a winter break, quote unquote, and it was his birthday. So we took two weeks off from homeschooling. Now we're back in it. We switched up the math curriculum and he's good. Now, JV, y'all, one thing I have not, um let you guys know you may not be aware, aware JV is dyslexic. And with that, I, I kind of had a hunch when he was in school, but pulling him out and homeschooling him for the first week, it was very obvious. And I'm like, what the hell? How is it that his teachers never knew this? I mean, he's reading 31s as 13, 15s as 51, Bs or Ps, Ds or B. You know, it's, it's, yeah. And so just being patient with him, sometimes he gets frustrated. But I really need to take my time to do a little bit more research on how to I, I know what to do as far as reading language arts so go i i got that down but with the math it's a little bit trickier so i am getting just saddened by the deaths that are occurring whenever i log in to facebook is something it's always something you guys and you know it's just a steady stream doing my going down my feed and i don't have a lot of people i think i have a little over 400 friends on facebook but it's you know a, a feed full of pray for me pray for my husband pray for my cousin keep us in and I'm like, oh my God. And, and I knew we would be at this point, but it's a lot. And it's not necessarily all COVID related. You know what I mean? Um, it's just deaths after deaths after deaths. I have a cousin who suffered a, a little mini stroke apparently last week. He's well now. Um, he's an older cousin. He's, I think Rodney is in his um, early 50s. Not too old, but... Um, and... Y'all remember the one woman I told y'all or my friend whose husband had a, um, he was in a coma and they pulled him off. Unfortunately, they pulled him off of, um, life support. I logged in on Facebook. I log on Facebook every day, y'all, but I don't try to stay on there long. And you know, I just, I don't go through there for a while. And so long story short, her mother just passed away. So can you imagine losing your husband and then literally four months later, your own mother dying. I just, 
I literally started bawling when I saw that. So uh, I just cannot imagine. So there's a lot of that going on. With that being said, you know, I have it in my heart and I have it here. I went through, I've been organizing and decluttering you, you guys. Um, I think it's a good time to do this. Y'all Y'all ain't going nowhere hell. So go through your old paperwork. Go through makeup. I've been going through my makeup. Well, not all of it, but I've been going through my train case. Now, come on now, Chris. Get your ass in the, in the house. Hold on, y'all. My neighbor, Chris. Making all these damn noise. So, anyway. <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. So, I've been, um... I, I'm going back. Like, it's taking me almost a year to go back and really... Girl, why don't you tell me this is all jacked up? Um, to really get back on my... On my on my on my thing you know I have goals I'm going through looking at my goals and make sure that I'm doing things in a timely manner because I got off track there for a while with everything going on so like I said a couple of deaths a couple of people who are ill and just all around and um it, it's just it's, it's just sad y'all it really is sad so I'm praying for y'all you know keep my family in your prayers keep me in your prayers you know I'm continuously uplifting people in prayer but one of the things that I also have it on my heart is I really do feel like that one of my gifts or my gift is encouragement so one of the things that I did and what I've been doing is purchasing blank cards just blank note cards that I get from the Dollar Tree and I've had these for a while so while I was declu decluttering my planner um stuff over here planner supplies I'm like oh I have those so one of my to on my to-do list that I'm going to do here within the next month or so is to take some of these cards and start writing words of encouragement and then um either mailing them uh, out or delivering them to people's houses. How I see them and say, hey, you know, I just wanted to give you this. Just something to encourage people to lift their spirits up during this time. Because you never know what people are going through. And I, I find it especially people who work in that type of service industry. A lot of these folks that are always cheerful and happy, they be going through some stuff, y'all. And they put on that smile to just push through it. And so, yeah, that's really something I, I'm going to do that. That's something I'm definitely going to do this, well, not this month, because we're already in a February. So for the month of February, I want to do that. Okay. So, um, that's it y'all. Not, not much that's going on. I have a list of, oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do with my channel, girl. I have a list of um, video ideas that I've already generated and I told y'all it won't be a lot of hair related but it will be something at least at least one or two videos a month will be dedicated for hair related but look at me this is this is <laughs> this is me yeah this is this is what I'm doing right now so um and these have been in this will be the third week so yeah that's that is what it is y'all want to see my nails thank you for asking so these are pressed on because look baby i did not have time to do a full set so these are press on it's the first time i've ever done press on um i was told they can last a while i don't like the coffin nail shape but it is what it is it'll work for right now so I know that a lot of you don't watch my story times and that's okay. Um, there are, you know, a couple of you who enjoy those and so I will be continuing that. So my next story time idea is a story called Gray Skies and I gave you guys a preface of what that will look like. It's basically a, um, a couple that is moving from Chicago to Oklahoma. The, hu the husband, excuse me, was raised in Oklahoma by his aunt. Um, his aunt is not one of those nice uh southern aunts she's a little crouchy and, and bitter like so they have decided to move to oklahoma girl tornado Va valley which is one of the reasons why it's called gray skies and they are basically starting over <clears throat> his wife kendra is pregnant with their first child after years of infertility and pregnancy losses so trigger on that i will be including a trigger for the first story time and um yeah poor lamont lamont is the husband he has had an issue with gam gambling addiction um there's also been a incident of um infidelity which has caused kendra to really 
um, have trust issues, but they went through counseling and they got through it. And, and that was two years ago, the incident where he cheated. They're moving to Oklahoma, okay, in a small town, of course. Y'all like, know I love small towns. And they're moving to a farmhouse. Now, Kendra's a city girl. She's from Chicago. She don't know nothing about no damn farmhouse. And so, um, you know, Lamont was raised in the South. He was raised in the country. So, even though they're moving to this farmhouse, they're going to need help. So, Lamont puts out an ad, but that's when his aunt tells him, hey, I know someone who can help you. And let me, let me introduce you to my friend's nephew, Byron. I like that. So Byron, oh, oh, let me back up. Lamont and Kendra are in their mid thirties. Okay. Kendra is like, she just turned 30. Lamont is like 34, 35. But Byron is, is 28. 28, yeah. So Byron is this handsome, younger um, gentleman that agrees to help out Lamont on the farm with, you know, everyday stuff. But then Kendra suspects that um, Lamont is back to his old ways due to the stress of running the farm and they expect the, of their first baby, you know, them expecting their first baby, excuse me, he's under stress. So he's back to drinking and gambling. He does the gambling online, child. You could lose money like that too. So I think that's illegal now, but we're going to pretend like it's legal here. So, you know, she finds herself getting closer to Byron and that is, I'm, that's, I'm going to give y'all because I'm working on it. And so, yeah, this is called Gray Sky. So, yeah, y'all, this should be interesting. Now, this, I don't know if it's going to have some some murder or anything like that. This is just going to be some pettiness going on, you know, a, a bunch of foolery. So, <laughs> just how we like it, right? So, all right, y'all, let's move on to what I'm watching on YouTube. Um, You know what? I really wasn't watching a lot, but one thing that I have caught on, and I'm, I need to pull it up because I've seen several people do a video on this. Um, there was a young woman. Let me pull it up, y'all. Let me pull up Leia's because she just did a video on this. Hold on, y'all. So I've seen several videos on this, but I already peeped this a story before folks started doing videos on it. So there was a Kansas City woman who ended up killing, taking revenge on, taking revenge, excuse me, on um, her brother. I didn't realize her brother was as young, but apparently someone, her 16 year old brother was murdered. This girl found out who it was, tracked them down and shot him up. Let me tell you something. Yes, I do believe that we have a justice system and we should follow the laws, but there is nothing, nothing wrong to me in this case. Now, I'm hoping she got the right person and it sound like she did. And from what I understand, this is uh, not the only loss that this family has had. I believe two small children were murdered not too long ago. Like an eight and nine year old brothers were murdered. It was a um, drive by shooting and I believe the children were in the house. Don't quote me on that, okay? But this happened out in Kansas City and hey, she took matters in her own hand and she served justice. There was a story, I believe it was, it was in the late 80s or early 90s where a woman ended up killing the man who raped her child, the, her child's um, molester. She ended up killing him. Now, I believe she died of cancer not too long ago. Now, I think she served a couple of years in prison, but people was like, you don't, you don't need to go to prison. And there have been other incidents of that of people who have killed, you know, molesters or, or parents who have killed their children molesters. Look, Thank you. You just saved us a lot of time and, and money and hassle and getting them in jail. They asses probably wouldn't serve a lot of time anyway. So thank you for getting, the, you know what I mean, and everything. Yeah, I'm really not watching a lot. I am watching I Am Sharika B. Um, she's a, uh, she's really a monk banger, but I've started to watch some of her videos. Um, that's it, y'all. Let me see if there's anything else on here. It's time for another drink, girl.
Uh, all right, y'all, what I'm watching on TV, girl, everything. So one of the things I did do, y'all, let me go to my Google account and pull it up because I want to give y'all the correct information. So I went ahead and um, got, well, subscribed to Lifetime Movie Club or something like that because I watch, <laughs> I did watch the Salt and Pepper biopic. We'll, we'll get to that, but let me start this first. So after that there was this movie that kept coming up deaf in the water and i'm like girl who what is this about i love me a cheesy ass lifetime movie so i went ahead and subscribed to this lifetime movie club or whatever which some of the movies i'm pretty sure i can see for free on youtube but i got it anyway it's like 3.99 a month and i've been watching movies on it all day because it's so cheesy y'all i like it so some of it is good because they do have the celebrity um biopic movies like the whitney houston movie which is called whitney um uh gianni not gianni versace versace's sister what's her name y'all y'all know who i'm talking about and then the tony braxton story which i never i never got a chance to finish so i want to go back and watch those okay i did watch the whitney story um like i said we'll talk about the salt and pepper biopic here at the end thrones as far as other stuff, I'm on Game of Thrones season five. It's getting a little slow. Like, <laughs> like, okay, you know, I'm not going to give any spoilers for those of you who are interested. But I'm like, yeah, this is getting a little slow. I'm not interested in it anymore. Um, started to watch Snowpiercer. It's okay. It's a little weird. And I like those end of the world type of movies. And I don't know... <laughs> Some of the characters, I don't know whether to laugh or to cry. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is confusing. And I have mixed emotions about this. So, Olivia Spencer is in it too. And the real pretty girl from um, Labyrinth from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get people's names together. Um, I rewatched Shall We Dance with Jennifer Lopez and Richard Greer. Yeah, I find Richard Greer to be a attractive older man. But y'all know who I think is sexy as hell now he ain't but about 15 years ago he was it's um julia roberts brother eric roberts i think he's a i think he's sexy he was in mariah carey's videos with his old ass you know now he's all soft he was salt and gray there for a while but now he all salt girl um he's had some issues in the past i think he's had issues with drugs um and he's often known to play in these b-rated movies so he's actually in a movie i'm watching now on lifetime he's in it and vivica fox y'all it is so bad the acting is bad and it's called the movie's called the wrong mommy but i'm like i think y'all got the damn titles wrong it has nothing to do with that like it is it, it's, i'm like y'all got the title strong so it was i watched another one this morning on the lifetime movie called dead in the water which is which was very predictable but it was good i watched it um but yeah i watched shelby dance girl got way off top topic i watched shelby dance and girl i'm sorry but jennifer lopez y'all see her ass singing at the inauguration jennifer lopez <laughs> <laughs> when she was singing jb was like he said girl this ain't your land because she was singing this man is my land this y'all jennifer lopez cannot sing and i'm pretty sure those of you know that she has had ghosts not only has she had ghost writers but she's actually had i believe who was it? ashanti was singing on some of her um I think it was Ashanti and Brandy. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was Brandy. But definitely Ashanti was singing on some of her records. You know, Jennifer Lopez. Poor thing. She's a great entertainer. She can dance her ass off, which is why she's great in showy dance. But no, she, she can't act. And she can't sing. But she's cute. Okay, and so, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, watch Shall We Dance. Try to watch The Ring with JB. Don't judge me. Hold on, y'all. Don't judge me. Hold on. Girl, we got all the way through. I think the woman was on day two or something. And JB was like, I can't watch this anymore. It's disturbing. I'm like, what's... I said, are you scared? He's like, no, I'm not scared. It's disturbing. I'm like, well, I know, baby. You know, the poor little girl coming out the wall. He's like, no, that's not what it, what it was. It's when the horse fell over. I said, JB, 
And now I get it. My <laughs> baby's empathetic towards animals, y'all. That's why he's a vegetarian too, because he feels bad for animals. Poor thing. So I said, wait a minute. You do realize the 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 little girl was are you more upset over the dang old horses than the child being pushed in the well? He's like, Mama, that's sad. The horse that was sad. I said, Okay, baby, child, he didn't hear. I was like, Oh, he's so sweet. I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna be watching the ring. <laughs> um, why do I have to get discovery app to watch 90 day fiance i'm not doing that y'all like seriously like no isn't that crazy like i'm so sick of this like i shouldn't have to pay for all this little stuff i mean it's gotten to the point to where is this my neighbor no so it's gotten to the point to where okay i pay for hulu netflix hbo now i got this lifetime lifetime thing that's like 3.99 now i'm thinking about getting this discovery app thing because i want to watch 90 day fiance like are y'all serious this is ridiculous y'all it's getting dark i do apologize like this is getting ridiculous or you have to pay for all this separate stuff so anyway y'all what i have added to my list is i want to watch Outside the Wire with Anthony Mackie. And it's one of those, again, end, end of the world type of, which is my favorite genre of movies, actually, y'all, besides thrillers and stuff like that and crime. Outside the Wire is on Netflix. And y'all know that Anthony is from, um, I think he's from, is he from New Orleans? But he's definitely from Louisiana. Um, CB Strike, which is a BBC detective type thing. I started to watch that. It's good. Let's get into this lifetime salt and pepper. Now, I know some about salt and pe about salt and pepper. Um, their first song came out. I was a child, okay, and <laughs> some of the other raunchy stuff I couldn't listen to because again, I was a child. But I'm very aware of the group, Sandy, um, Cheryl, and Spinderella. Y'all, what's Spinderella's real name? We can't be calling her Spinderella, okay? I think her name is like Deidre or something. Uh, it is. Her name is Deidre. You know what's so funny, y'all? A couple of years ago, someone had commented on one of my videos, you look like Spinderella from Salt... You favorite Spinderella from Salt and Pepper. I don't think I do. Maybe the eyes... Maybe they were looking at the eyes and cheekbones. I don't know. But yeah, I don't think I look like her. So anyway, honey... All right, y'all. Make the camera a little bit brighter. Okay, so within the first five minutes of the movie, I can already sense the toxic nature of Salt and Pepper's relationship, basically Cheryl and Sandy. Now, Sandy is the taller one and Cheryl is the shorter, fair-skinned one, okay? Now, I will say the actress that played um, Cheryl, she definitely kind of favored her. And the actress that played Sandy, even though she didn't favor her, she got her mannerisms down pretty well, okay? That's so I, I really did like that. The fashions were on point, you know, they definitely did that. They didn't have any bad wigs, from, at least from what I could tell. They got the hair, although, girl, at the very end when they were doing like the S, it wasn't, no, it wasn't the Essence, they were doing the VH1. Whoever the hell was that with that Jamaican, the... <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell was that with those dread that dread wig child? I guess they went through Tyler Perry's old wigs and was like, let's let's find this one. You know, this will work here. You, you Jamaican here, put this on. Child <laughs> ass miss. Anyway, um, let me get it back on track, y'all. So within the five first, so within the first five minutes, absolutely I can tell that their relationship was definitely toxic. I knew that Cheryl, one of the reasons why, because I believe one or two of them, or both of them, there was a reality show. They did have a reality show together. And Sandra, the taller one, she has been on several different reality shows herself. And so I already knew that one of uh Cheryl's hang up was that she was a Christian and she really didn't want to do certain songs and she was also changing up the lyrics on some of the songs when they agreed to you know perform live which you have to admire but this is my thing if you I understand that as a Christian I, I understand that but for me personally I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to do any of that if you want to say hey I'm a Christian I can't sing this don't sing any of it don't do any don't change your lyrics hang it up Get out of that type of, you know, it's secular music. Get out of it anyway. Anyway, get out of the industry. Don't even do it because I feel like in a way it's unfair to the other person. 
because I, it seems like she was always that way. You know what I mean? When I, what I gather from the um, movie itself. So y'all, we can talk about some bits and pieces of it. But I'm gonna let you know this. It was better than the damn Aaliyah um, movie. That's for dang on sure. But they really didn't tell me anything that I didn't know. And I felt like some bits and pieces, they could have given us more, you know, they could have gotten to detail because it, it, Don't be talking loud about my window. I feel like certain parts of the movie or certain things they shared, they could have gone, they could have gone into detail more. Like Cheryl had a um, eating disorder. Okay, how did she overcome that? How did her family feel about that? You know, how, it didn't really go into that. You know, you see, you saw her just throwing up. You saw her binge eating, but like, does, does she still battle with that? I mean, did I miss that? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Or with Sandy's relationship with Tretch, you know, that it was just like stuff was thrown in there as a filler for the movie and they really didn't go into detail about it. And so I feel like, girl, where's the tea at? I want to know something. And they, they definitely skimped over Spinderella's time um, with the group or her story. So really didn't even get her part of the story or she again like that was missing from this movie um i will say i didn't know that she was that younger than them um because in all honesty she comes off as very mature um or maybe that's because we're feeling the the you know the tension between them two that the reason why she comes off as more mature i'm not sure but yeah y'all it was okay um would i recommend seeing it yeah you know watch it for yourself just to get an idea but if you were aware of the group if you already know knew what was going on they really not sharing anything new there's nothing ground bake breaking there's nothing like oh i didn't know that so yeah y'all um like I said, watch it for yourself. Let me know what you think. That's it, y'all. That's what's been going on. That's what I've been watching, what I'm not watching. Let me know what y'all been watching, what you been up to, girl. So that is it, everyone. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.